Hello everyone and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. This is BulletTuber and today we are going to model this tire from a plane using modifiers. It won't take much so let's start. The first thing that uh, you have to do is to download the reference image. I have downloaded mine so I will press 7 to go to Top Orthographic, Shift and A, Image and Add a Reference Image. Find locally the image that you have downloaded and that's it. Now let's press Shift and A and add a, a plane. Let's go to wireframe. So I will press Z and wireframe. So select the reference image, press G and Y. I will move this at the exact bottom of uh, the plane. Next thing is to adjust uh, the new plane that we are going to model the tire. So I will uh, move this uh, to vertices. I will press G on the Y and move it at the middle of the reference image. We are going to use mirror modifier for the rest of uh, the model. Next thing is to create just a single one of these. As you can see, it's just a repeated thing. So let's grab these two vertices, press G on the X axis and move it around here. Second thing is to move also the other side on the X axis around here. So I will need one of these and one of these. After that, we are going to select these two, press G on the X axis and bring it somewhere here. We are going to add here a new loop with Control R. Press G on the X axis and move it here. I will now press Control B to bevel this and add a few steps to it. I'm fine with this, so I will press G on the X axis and move everything to the X axis. Now we have to move the vertices one by one manually in order to position them to the place that we need. I will press G by selecting each one and moving it to the place that I need. Once we are done with this, I will press Ctrl R and add a new loop here. Let's also move these vertices to match the pattern. Next thing is to create these uh, extrusions here. So I will also like this uh, small detail here. So I will press Ctrl R, add a new line here, Ctrl B, and bevel it around here. So we are good to move on. Let's now change to face selection. Click on this one, hold control key, and check until here. Let's go to front orthographic with one of the numpad. Press E to extrude on the Z axis minus 0.1. Now let's move on with uh, some other faces that need to be extruded. It's this one, this one, and also add a new loop here, this one. So I would like this, this, and this one. So press again E to extrude on the z-axis minus point 0.1. Let's now press the slash on the numpad to focus on the selected object and start editing this object. So I would like to delete some faces that are extra. X and delete these faces. So we are now ready to add a modifier. The first one, it will be 
an array modifier. I will uh, check here the cost of offset and also the merge. Let's go to our frame once again. Move the offset on the X axis until both uh, planes are matched. As you can see here, we have to do some more improvements to it. So let's go to edit wireframe, select these, the vertices that are not matching and move them accordingly. Let's go back to solid view and see how it looks. As you can see, some faces, we miss some faces, so we need to delete them. I think the pattern is now fine. So the next thing we are going to do is to go under the object data properties, expand the normals and check auto smooth. Change the angle to 90 degrees. Select the object and right click shade smooth. Let's create now the material that we need. This will be a tire. I will change the color to a black one. Let's also change here to viewport shading. As you can see, it's too much uh, shiny, so we need to uh, change the specular and the roughness. We are good with it. Next is to add a mirror modifier. In order to add the mirror modifier, we would like it to be from here. So let's change to edge selection, select these two edges, press Shift and S, and set the cursor to the selected. Then go back to solid, right click, set origin, and send the origin to the 3D cursor. Now we can go to the modifiers and add also a mirror modifier. Let's change from here to Y axis. I will now press Alt and G in order to move uh, my object to the center of the word origin. But we also need to change the origin again and also delete some faces. Now let's change to vertex selection, select this one, press Shift and S and send the cursor to the selected. Once again, right click and send the origin to the 3D cursor. Alt and G to move it to the desired place. This is very important to have it to the center of the word origin in order to add the curve after that and the array too much to the curve. So now let's press Shift and A and add a curve. This curve will be a circle. I will rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees. Scale it and press Tab to go to Edit Mode. Select this vertex here, Shift and S and change also for this one the 3D origin. So I will press once again Alt and G to move it to the place that I need. Select now the object that we created and add also a curve modifier. From this curve modifier, under object, select the Bezier circle and change the fit type to fit the curve. Select once again the Bezier curve and as you can see, our model is done. But we should have some overlapping. So as you can see here, a bit of overlapping is happening. So I will uh, select the Bezier circle and scale it until I match exactly what I need. So I think here it will be great. Let's now apply all the modifiers. Once we apply them, let's go to top orthographic. Let's change to wireframe and select the half of the object. Let's now press X and delete the vertices. Let's now add again a mirror modifier. 
to the y-axis. So let's go back to solid view. As you can see, our tire is now ready. Go to edit mode and select by pressing Alt and clicking the whole loop of vertices. Let's press E to extrude on the y-axis and bring it a bit here. Press S to scale and scale around here. And repeat this process one more time. E to extrude on the y-axis and scale this time a bit more. Now let's press E to extrude one more time and G on the y-axis to bring it inside. And once again, E to extrude and scale to bring it backward. We can now apply also a solid modifier to give uh, some thickness to it. And apply all the modifiers. Let's now go to shading tab and delete our reference image and also the bezier curve since we don't need them anymore. I will select here the tire and check how it looks. So I would like a bit more to be some more shiny so I will like, increase the specular and that's it. So this is the end of this tutorial. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you liked it, press the like button, leave a comment in the description below and of course don't forget to subscribe.